Hi there folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews. I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to this channel. I want to thank everyone who has been watching the videos. I want to thank everyone who has been commenting on these videos. Please folks, let's start our conversation here folks. So basically, you know, I guess this weekend and next weekend is a largely downtime considering the fact that, you know, Rogue One is going to be playing here in a couple of weeks and also some Oscar film stuff is coming out. I'm going to do a, I'm doing a movie clearance sale of which, you know, films that, you know, I have been released the last couple weeks I'm finally getting to around to reviewing. And this one is The Edge of Seventeen, and this film is written and directed by Kelly Fremont Craig, who after this film I definitely want to see more of. High school has always been hard, basically, here, folks. And growing up, while being in high school, this is especially difficult. You know, it has never changed, period, basically. Really good high school films are a dime a dozen. Not, again, some people have, you know, have, you know, Breakfast Club as the creme de la creme of high school films, or maybe Fast Times at Richmond High. Are they the, the creme of the crop? Again, I can't claim to know, but again, it's like, yes, I like Breakfast Club. Who, does, who doesn't love Breakfast Club, I guess? And some people compare this to John Hughes, although I, for me, it's more like a much rawer form of John Hughes than John Hughes ever went down the path of. I think this is more, this probably, of course, is more a closer cousin to Parks of Being a Welfare, which really delved into being a band of misfits in high school during your earlier years, like your freshman year. This is your junior year here. Nadine, played by Haley Seifel, is a high school junior here. And she basically is like every typical high school teenager, socially awkward and, you know, depressed, which, you know, at some point everyone goes through, especially me. Her older, her mother, played by Sakura Sedwick, you know, favorite her older brother, Darren, played by, like, Jenner, who coincidentally was an already in college, and now he's back in high school, you know. She only has one friend, Krista, since the second grade, by, played by Kaylee Rolou Richardson. And then, unfortunately, Krista starts to date her brother, and that sends Nadine to, to, to more of a tailspin, basically thinking her life is just like, Oh my god, this is my life, oh blah blah. Well, teenagers, you know, they feel like they're always, you know, is she more self absorbed than most? Yeah, maybe so. This side, though, she gets inside from a teacher named Mr. Bruner and played by Woody Harrelson, who basically, yes, he is a teacher that we all wish we had in high school, although we very, very rarely do we get it, actually. Uh, though she eats lunch with him, and yes, on occasion I did the actually eat lunch with the teacher myself, because my, again, I. Didn't really didn't, didn't care so with any of my friends and or classmates in high school. But he also has some good comebacks to direct directly towards her basically here. Dean then begins to start a relation or at least start a friendship or a relationship with her one played by Hayden Seto. And he's obviously Asian and some people are gonna say some people have said, Oh, this is a sort of a callback to, you know, sixteen candles or where there was an Asian character, but hey, at least this Asian character isn't offensive as that one was, basically. Some seniors that, you know, you think are going to play out the way it plays out, but you really, it feels fresh in some way, and then there are some scenes that you really think like, oh, this is, yeah, this is not going to play out very well, and it does play out not very well, but at least it feels in a refreshing sort of way here, because basically we all make mistakes. Seniors make mistakes here, folks. That's the way life is. Again, life isn't fair. It will never be fair for some of you people because, or that some people well, peak in high school, basically, because they're the life of the party, and that's all they have going for them, basically. There's just, there's just one small complaint I have about this film. You know, Haley Seinfeld is 19, so technically she is a teenager. You know, Haley Lou Richardson is 21, Blake Jenner is 23. I'm just saying, can we actually hire actual teenagers, although, you know, 19 is technically dangerous. I mean, you can't necessarily assimilate a sex scene with a very young teenager here, but at least you have gotten the raw emotions of an actual teenager, folks. So, folks, this film has some really great performances, a great script by Kelly Fremont Craig. And what I'm going to do here, folks, is... So, if I give you this a ranking of Leave Work Early. This is definitely a top 10 contender film for the best films of the year. So, folks, what did you think about, you know, The Edge of Cinema and Teen Jeff and the Like It? Did you not to care for it all? Did you like my review or not? Or did you not have to care for what I have to say about this film? Um, what is your favorite high school film? I don't... And there you go. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe. Help the least few films get more views here, folks. 
as always, I'll see you later, folks. Thank you very much. Enrich yourself with knowledge. You all go places, folks. You know, there you go. Um, I'll see you next time.